I recently got the chance to go to Chicago for a convention all focused on giant monsters such as Godzilla, Power Rangers, Pacific Rim, and much more. It's a chance to not only find rare collectibles, comics, movies, and books, but you can also meet many of the creators. I sat down with Matt Frank, known for his work on IDW's Godzilla comic, to chat about what got him into drawing and making comic books. We're here at G-Fest with Matt Frank, artist, writer now. You just got, um, Red Man just came out recently, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I actually wrote and uh, illustrated Red Man, The Kaiju Hunter, mm -hmm. back in, like, 2016, 2017-ish? 2017, I want to say. It did have an English language release not long after, but only in graphic novel form. Mm -hmm. And those were relatively relatively limited releases, and they're, now they're kind of hard to get a hold of, especially Volume 3, because that came out in the middle of 2020. Yeah. <laughs> and so uh, that one's really hard to find for people. But we got a new release uh, through uh, Behemoth and Happy to Make. Mm -hmm. In, uh, for specifically for the American market, for comic yeah. shops and stuff. Obviously, Godzilla is like the big one. Sure. Is, is it Godzilla what started you on this fandom? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, when I was a kid, it was all about dinosaurs. You know? My parents took me to see dinosaurs at the Woody Museum in San Antonio, and uh, I was like, well, my life's path has been laid out for me. Uh, and uh, But then you see Godzilla, and Godzilla's the biggest, baddest dinosaur I've ever seen, especially in your tiny little child brain. He does some covers for Marvel for Ultraman, right? That's right, right. Uh, Mar Marvel got the... Uh got the license for Ultraman, and I, uh, it, was, it was funny, it's actually a funny story. I was working on a pitch for an Ultraman comic series through my Redman publisher in Japan, because they loved how Redman came out, and I was like, oh, well, I made a couple pitches for some stuff, started writing some stuff, and then they started telling me, like, oh, hold on, hold on, like, wait a minute, and they started to, uh, like, yeah. tell me, like, don't, no, 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 and, and it was weird, because initially it was a lot of, like, kind of hand wringing and hewing and hawing and like I'm not like what are you guys talking about? <laughs> and then and then it was like oh, oh yeah just some red tape that we can't it's guys like, talk about. Oh yet. it's it's Marvel guy. Mm -hmm. So I made some connections here in the States uh, through a couple of uh, a couple of channels. Uh, and I wound up getting in touch with the uh, with the American license managers for Ultraman, specifically Danny Simon and Jeff Gomez. Uh, and they're just so excited about it. And these guys have been around forever. Like they have, have they have their, had their hands in so many different uh, properties over the years. And um, yeah, and so they recommended me for some Ultraman stuff. And at the same time, I was also okay. working on the Ultraman pinball machine. Yeah. So that also wound up being a uh, get, getting to to do a little synergy there. A little synergy. What do you have in the future coming up? Uh, well, right now I'm working on a uh, anthology series called Spectre Man Heroes, which Spectre Man is another uh, Japanese superhero. You're franchise. just resurrecting all the old I'm Japanese. Just, I'm doing all heroes. the stuff that nobody else wants to touch. <laughs> um, and, uh, I'm working on that with uh, my buddy Hiroshi Kanatani, who's also here at the show. And um, there he is. And uh, also, let me think, uh, he and I also worked on a series called Eisenborg, Dinosaur War Eisenborg Together, which is another Super Eye production. And on top of that, uh, Hopefully that'll get an American release at some point. Um, yeah, and we're doing Spectre Man Heroes right now. He did a couple of issues. I'm doing an issue. I'm doing the Spectre Man issue. But there's also a bunch of characters from that company. Mm -hmm. Zaborger, Lion Maru, uh, Hyolman, Tiger 7, and stuff. So we're... Um, uh, so you know, there's a lot coming down the pipe, and I've got I've got oh, I've got an original series called Miss Medusa's Monsters Menagerie that I'm working on. They got a lot of things, and a bunch of other stuff I can't talk. About. All right, it was great talking to Matt over the weekend. If you didn't recognize some of the stuff he's worked on, maybe your kids will. You can find more of Matt's work on mattfrankart.com.